<laughs> I'm working for Michelle's father. Out of college, I was a University of uh, Massachusetts graduate, Stockbridge School of Agriculture, and was hired as the garden center manager. And that's how we met. Uh, I came home from college spring break, and my dad had hired him. So the rest literally is history. <laughs> When we officially got together back in 93, we both uh, knew that together we would be stronger. And as a team, we had uh, much better potential to make this garden center something different and something that would be able to evolve and be sustainable long term. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Definitely a yin and yang. You know, I have my visions and what I see that needs to be done and she has her visions and what she sees needs to be done and generally we've covered everything at that point. Back in the early 50s, my grandparents owned a series of housekeeping cottages here. My grandfather was called up and he served overseas during World War II. And while he was overseas, my grandmother loved to garden. It was always her passion. She was an artist from the very beginning. So she had developed these incredible English gardens all around our property. So my grandmother's garden started attracting a lot of attention. When my grandfather came back from the service, my grandmother essentially had a fledgling business going, selling plant material from her own gardens. I started working here when I was 12, <laughs> by just walking up the road. I decided that I didn't make enough money with allowance and wanted a job and figured I liked plants. So I just walked up and started loading people's cars and didn't actually ask if I could. <laughs> um, My favorite thing is in the spring growing all the little baby plants. I mean, you, outside it's a blizzard and maybe 20 degrees and in the greenhouse it's 95. You feel like you're in Miami. I actually put sunscreen on in February because otherwise I burn up like a crispy critter. <laughs> I like working with the people. I like seeing the same customers come back year after year and be like, hey, you gave me this advice last year and what you said worked and it was great and this was awesome and now I want you to help me with this. So it's kind of the repeat customers that come back every year and, and remember you and seek you out and say, hey, help me again because you did a great job. We attribute the growth really to my grandmother's vision. Uh, she was never stagnant. She really believed that uh, being relevant in the community and being relevant to your customers was far more important than growing the one rose bush that you love. We were open to all avenues of growth and expansion and opportunity. We never really felt like we were stuck in one role or one business model because she never was. She was willing to try just about anything. In 2008, we installed solar panels on the building, which over the long run was economically sound, but it was also, you know, environmentally sound. I have found Unitil very receptive. You know, they were definitely on top of all the rules and regulations for the net metering, and it worked so well we did it at a commercial building next door. We're the first garden center in the country. To, to install one. I mean, we made national news when we did. We're featured in national uh, magazines. You know, Channel 7 came here and did a live interview the day we threw the switch. The Commissioner of Agriculture was here on site. You could be really a local small mom and pop business and make a difference environmentally. I don't necessarily think we've ever looked at it as like the next big step. It's always been every day essentially doing our own energy audit and looking to see where we can improve, where we can make a difference, what's available now that wasn't available five years ago for technology, for resources available within the community or in our area. We 
are Lunenburg born and bred. We love Lunenburg. And they know us. We're their neighbors. We're not some big company with corporate offices out of state, out of town. We're Lakeview and Lunenburg. Putting the seeds in the ground first thing in the spring, every spring. Treating every customer as your one and only customer. Yeah. Making sure at the end of the day you're proud of the job you've done. That's very important. That was always important to our grandparents.